All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another uh, video on the Invader series. Today we'll be looking at how we can invade uh, Black's Moyo. Um, so let's look at the board. Um, Black's pretty much all the influence in Moyo are focused on uh, the right side. So now uh, you can feel free to pause the video and think about the board uh, and think about some of the, some of the good invasion point. What would you play as white uh, in this case? Where is a good uh, invasion point? So when you come back, uh, we'll go through a little bit thought process. So um, the first thing after you watch a few uh, of my invader series is probably to invade somewhere on on the third line, right? So that's a very uh, normal um, way of thinking. Uh, some viewers might suggest uh, that we play R8. Um, so this could be a, a good move. Uh, however, we have to know uh, how to deal with um, you know Black's moves like this, right? First of all, Black can uh, play this bamboo shape, enclose everything on top, and then attack our stone. Black can also potentially think about um, this kind of moves. Um, you know this kind of moves that is really putting max pressure on the white so white might manage to live here um, however uh, well first of all it's not it's not very comfortable for white right so first of all uh, if this happens later on uh, there's going to be a problem like white if white tries to live using moves like this kosumi uh, the corner is going to be hurt uh, so even if white lives here Black's able to uh, build another problem, a huge problem for white. Uh, but also look at what is going on here. Uh, white's corner later on uh, might be suffering from attack from this direction. So uh, I'm pretty sure white can live here. And I believe that you guys can make uh, this invasion alive. However, when we invade, we need to think about the, the costs, we need to think about the consequences uh, to our neighbor uh, neighbor groups, as well as, um, you know, after a, a variation can black build on something else. So those are things that we need to worry about when we play invasion moves. So maybe another attempt is to, uh, what about, you know, uh, invading at R12? This is a much better idea because uh, because it seems like this is a weaker side uh, for black and there's more room for, for white to move uh, as well as it does it won't really hurt the corner as much uh, as if we play R8. So that's our thought process. Uh, let's think about uh, how would black defend. Uh, obviously black would hate uh, white to make um, you know sliding moves uh, like S6 uh, not only take care take away the territory but also uh, get roots uh, for himself so likely our opponent will uh, pincer us uh, from r14 uh, that's a very good move not only enclose the corner but also getting rid of white's roots if we just hop out um, black will uh, start a very fierce attack uh, and um, and uh, this is start to get a little bit difficult uh, for white. So, uh, so this is just a, a, a you know I'm just talking about direction here, direction of play. Uh, even if white lives here uh, later on, there could be problems uh, on this side as well. But also, uh, this is this is just a little bit um, difficult uh, for white to keep pushing in this direction. Black can uh, keep. Um, <clears throat> black can keep attacking this way and then uh, it's it's uh, you know it's hard for white to figure out every move correctly maybe AI has no problem uh, getting this group out um, but as for human players um, is it is it really easy uh, for white to deal with this group so we're not so sure so R12 could be a good uh, good move and on top uh, if white tries to slide this way black will uh, block uh, it th there's just no uh, there's just not enough um, ice space uh, really for 
uh, for white to live here. White just has to run, uh, but whenever you run, uh, you can be attacked from all kinds of different directions. So, um, so what about this attach? Well, this is a, a very good move. Uh, however, black has its defense as well. So if white choose to cross cut, looking for potential to you know attach the opponent and make uh, make eyes, uh, tactically black can just extend at R8. Uh, this is putting white um, in a little bit of trouble uh, because because now white is cut off uh, in black's territory. Uh, and uh, this is probably very playable for a professional player, uh, but for us, this is uh, definitely a difficult uh, invasion to make. Uh, maybe white has to make use of uh, the problem flag has here uh, to eventually uh, potentially look at this Atari and then fight. So it involves a lot of calculations as well. Uh, so I don't really know how to continue as white um, Maybe AI would suggest you to push here. Uh, some AI would uh, tell you to go in here, but after Black cuts off the uh, cuts off the connection, really hard to figure out uh, how to treat these these three guys. So for me, um, it probably is not the situation I want to be in uh, as white. So that said, it, when Black pincers here, we felt the pressure. Uh, and there's a lot of things that we have to uh, read out ourselves uh, for this invasion to work. So what about, you know, R12 failed. What, what about when we invade here? And I've seen a lot of, uh, a lot of my uh, viewers or online players would actually play this one. Uh, the problem with this one is it leaves Black no choice but, but, but kicking you at R5, uh, R15, because you're not going into the corner making yourself a base so this is a must play move and now it's it's time for white to figure out things if white plays this one black can uh, first of all attack this direction but even uh, when black attack this direction um, it just feels very very hard um, for white uh, to keep going in uh, in here, right? Black is already a 4v2 plus a supporting stone here, and it's still Black's turn, right? Black can attack uh, in different directions. Um, so first of all, I recommend you to uh, play this one space extension, making sure white has no root, but also trying to really strangle uh, white here, uh, leaving white no room to breathe. White's best defense is probably this. We can follow up with uh, more pressing moves and uh, and it's just hard uh, if white attaches immediately he will get cut off uh, and uh, and fighting here is not very smart uh, for white because what black has too many stones so white cannot attach white has to uh, run here um, so black can uh, defend like this is no problem uh, white just has a long way to go and 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 then you just can't Right? This line will be cut off all the time. Uh, and then you have to maybe run towards this direction again, and then you just never home, and then you never have eye space. Um, so having a group like that is quite a burden uh, on your game. So so I really do not recommend uh, my, my viewers to play R14, although I, view, uh, I see a lot of players do actually play this move. Um, this is not a great invasion point, just keep that in mind, especially when black already has a defensive formation like this, right? He will kick, he will pincer, uh, very, very difficult. Uh, but if you just uh, jump out, uh, well, it's kind of the same story if, um, you know, if black just uh, pincer, still has a long way to run. Uh, this is slightly better than extending, uh, but still. Um, running this direction is just not the best choice. All right, so I talk about all the like the moves that um, that uh, one would think about, 
uh, there are probably some other moves that go into your mind, uh, things like this one uh, that you have might have seen in other games, uh, but really this is just not doing much because Black can uh, go ahead and secure everything here. Uh, I'm not sure what this move is doing. Uh, doesn't really gain anything real and later on uh, might be attacked from this direction. So that's also uh, not a great move. Um, especially when you don't understand what's doing at all. Uh, so today I will recommend you guys uh, a very, very nice invasion point uh, that is for you to play S15. So this is a, a very, very nice uh, invasion point. Uh, so first of all, if, <coughs> if Black plays uh, the Kosumi, uh, we can happily extend in, into the corner. Uh, this is of course also a Joseki. Um, but um, uh, so here, uh, black can uh, play this one, and then uh, something, and the white can attach here. This is quite an old uh, Joseki. Uh, black will uh, play out something like this, uh, capture this thing, uh, and um, and still keep uh, keep an eye on uh, attacking a white stone. Uh, so from here, it looks like white does not have a real eye right yet, uh, but turns out that this group actually extremely uh, hard to kill. Uh, so what black white can first uh, play this one. This one is already pretty annoying. Um, if black honeys, this honey will be a sente. Uh, if you play anything uh, anywhere else, I have an Atari here. If you connect, I can block and then kill three stones. Pretty much means you have to connect. Uh, and now this Q10 stone looks really weird because it's um, it's kind of very inefficient. Uh, white has a, a great um, you know a great open space to run towards. Uh, but also, uh, if you wonder about uh, let's say black plays something like this, uh, locally white can turn here and then Atari here. Um, if, if black responds to everything that white uh, white does here, uh, white already has quite a few stones outside. And now white can just uh, go ahead and, and just, just run uh, even faster uh, because there are more stones here. So that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, even if this is uh, Joseki, I think white should be totally uh, comfortable playing in this position. Uh, you can go ahead and just play out like this uh, in your game and uh, and if you don't feel safe at all you can just uh, jump uh, just just jump safe right like if you really don't know what's gonna happen but but really you can jump all the way to here uh, and there's no problem blacks corner is destroyed uh, blacks side is limited to this part uh, and white has a lot of groups uh, a lot of territories outside uh, so running a heavy group like this uh, is fine, uh, and white already uh, has some potential for ice space around this area. So that is uh, a very good invasion by white. Uh, still playable for black, but I think uh, most of my viewers would love to uh, play as white uh, because we get to destroy the territory first. So that's one way for black to defend. It's not... Uh, it's not very usual, uh, I'd say, uh, in this in this situation. Uh, so, what about some other defenses, such as you know attacking this direction? Well, this is kind of easy because white can just uh, go in, and then this is way too easy, right? White already lives, uh, and then black still has to make a move to seal here, right? If he wants to make this a territory. So that would be way too pleasant for white, right? Black lost too many, uh, too much territories uh, in uh, in this process. So, um, so really, black is left uh, with a few choices uh, to defend the corner. So the two most common choices is one of them is just um, R16. Uh, so this is a um, very common move. Uh, so black will white will follow up by trying to go into the corner. Black is going to say no to that, and then white can clamp uh, at S18. Ask him black a question. Uh, do you want to uh, kill the stone? If you want to kill the stone, uh, 
so temporarily there's nothing because black can black can ladder everything but there's a lot of Aji here uh, later on white has things like uh, n17 uh, to annoy uh, to annoy black uh, also things like uh, o18 uh, in which case white can uh, make use of this move in sente so if so if black captures this stone, white will capture the corner. If black plays this one, white will Atari and then uh, kill the stone over here. So that's a big problem for black. Which is why you will see most of the time players will uh, connect here uh, because it leaves no Aji. So white will follow up uh, with R12 uh, and then uh, white is able to gain a lot of ice space here actually uh, if black kicks uh, we can just extend out um, and if uh, black goes ahead and attack we can uh, make ourselves a, a nice shape here uh, and um, yeah and then this is uh, this is totally fine uh, position for white white has ice space white also has uh, ways to uh, run uh, if black encloses everything here, um, pretty sure white can just uh, white can just make a life here. Uh, later on, this is going to be a big big end game for white uh, to connect on the first line. So that's a uh, that's a good invasion uh, by white, and then that's also okay uh, for black. So the other one is for black to attach uh, at s16, uh, which is slightly more complicated. Um, so as white, there, there are many choices uh, that you can play. Um, in some weird choices, the AI even Tanukis, uh, but I really don't recommend uh, any of those. Uh, so I will just uh, present you a, a good way to settle. Uh, there, there's some fancy stuff that I won't present at the end, but first let me uh, uh, walk you through uh, the main variation that is for you to wedge here. Um, this wedge force, forces black to capture uh, in, on the outside. If black backs down, uh, white can just connect, forcing black to connect. So the corner is, is already very small, uh, but on top white can uh, push once, forcing black to extend back, uh, and then um, and then a white can just go ahead and. Uh, make a very nice base here and then also uh, looking at a leak but also destroy the site in the meantime so this is uh, a very pleasant a very pleasant uh, game moving on for white so that's uh, that's not acceptable for black really uh, so black will counterattack by uh, capturing uh, the R15 stone, uh, but by capturing at R15, forcing white to extend, and black's correct follow-up is to crawl uh, on the second line. So from here on, every every move is pretty much forced. White will Atari, black will extend, white Ataris again, and black will uh, extend. Uh, so make sure you play these two Ataris. And now white will uh, pull the stone out. So black cannot um, black cannot play uh, here anymore because uh, if white plays this honey, these these two stones will die. So black is forced to save the two stones. And now white will uh, Atari. Black will run. And now white has a very nice move that is to. Uh, play at a p13 uh, that is uh, that's the center if if black tries to get rid of i space uh, this will happen and even uh, when so white not does not necessarily have to play this move but even if uh, white plays this move we can see that black has very ugly shape uh, later on there's a lot of archie here and white can honey here uh, there's some liberty problem with this uh, with this group, so uh, this is very uncomfortable for Black actually. So Black cannot allow that. So Black pretty much has to push, 
wait while Atari, black will run, white Ataris again, forcing black to capture, and white ends uh, the variation with uh, S8, uh, S12. Uh, sometimes your opponent will peep here, that's his rights. Uh, if your opponent plays this one, we can uh, just squeeze here. All right, so that's uh, that's also very good, but if you want, you can also uh, play out this one. So now, as we can see, uh, by sacrificing a little bit in the corner, we successfully get got ourselves a very nice group out. Uh, and uh, whenever white plays uh, the T13, this group is going to be alive. So it's a very safe group. And, uh, and also white has a stone towards the outside. So uh, this group is, is totally fine. And then we successfully um, you know, invaded the side, destroyed the side, and also leaving a weakness. So black pretty much has to immediately connect and fix this weakness. Uh, and then we can go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, you know uh, reduce black site uh, and um, and then call it a day and and white can just uh, start playing somewhere else. So this is how the game would keep going uh, as as um, uh, for both sides. I think this is more of even results. Uh, but as we can see, uh, white was very successful at invading. Uh, Black's, uh, Black's territory, uh, getting himself very comfortable with a very nice uh, one move. So White needs one move to make himself alive. So uh, he's very safe. He has a back door. If, if ever if things go wrong outside, he can go back and make himself alive. So that's a very good thing for White. Uh, and, uh, and White was able to get Sente as well. So this is a very, very nice invasion technique uh, for white. So let's quickly recap a little bit uh, just on the correct way to invade. Uh, so we talk about this uh, second line, 2-5 uh, invasion, uh, which is very, very nice. If black plays this one, we can uh, go ahead and clamp him. Uh, because of the RG I talked about, black will usually connect. Uh, white will play this one. When black kick, we can just extend. Uh, when white plays this one, when black plays this one, uh, first of all, we can we can think about running. Uh, this is fine. Uh, we can also think about making a shape here. Um, so this group should be uh, just fine. So that's one of the variations, and the other one is for black to make a more fierce defense. In which case, white will wedge. Black Ataris, white extends, black comes back and uh, and uh, try to kill uh, kill the two stones. White will Atari first, and then Atari another time, and then come out. Right, black has to save the two stones. We can Atari and then net, forcing black to uh, forcing black to make these exchanges, and then we can play a tiger's mouth. Black peeps, we just connect, right? So uh, black can now Tanuki, or he can also think about just capturing here. White will Atari, black will take, white will connect, and then black will connect. White will turn, black will jump, white attaches, black Hane, and connect. So this is um, an even game moving on, but I think uh, most me, most my viewers would probably prefer white because the invasion uh, was very, very successful. All right, so I hope you guys liked today's video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have more questions about today's invasion, uh, you can comment below the, the video and I'll answer as soon as possible. All right, thank you very much for watching. Talk to you guys next time.